we pray for your intentions and intentions of this channel and placing all our personal intention let us begin this eucharistic celebration in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and, and with your spirit. spirit let us call to our mind all our failures our shortcomings sins of commission and sins of omission and ask god's pardon and forgiveness you were sent to heal the contrite heart of heart lord have mercy lord have mercy you came to call sinners christ have mercy christ have mercy you were seated at the right hand of god the father to intercede for us lord have mercy lord have mercy may almighty god have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting amen let us pray o god who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of your neighbor grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit merit to attain eternal life through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen a reading from the book of proverbs chapter 30 verses 5 to 9 every word of god is an alloy he is the shield of those who take refuge in him to his words make no addition lest he reprove you and know you for a fraud Two things I beg of you: Do not grudge me them before I die. Keep falsehood and lies far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Grant me only my share of bread to eat. For fear that surrounded by plenty, I should fall away and say, "The Lord, who is the Lord?" Or else, in destitution, take to stealing or profane. the name of my god the word of the lord thanks, thanks be, be to, to god. god responsorial psalm your word is a lamp for my steps o lord your word is a lamp for my steps o lord my soul pines away with grief by your word raise me up the law from your mouth means more to me than silver and gold your response your word is a lamp for my steps o lord your word o lord forever stands firm in the heavens i turn my feet from the evil paths to obey your word your response your word is a lamp for my steps o lord i gain understanding from your precepts and so i hate false ways lies i hate and detest but your law is my love your response your word is a lamp for my steps o lord gospel acclamation hallelujah hallelujah the kingdom of god is close at hand repent and believe the good news hallelujah the lord be with you and, and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke 
Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 9, verses 1 to 6. At that time, Jesus called the twelve together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal. And he said to them, Take nothing for your journey, so no staff, no bag, no bread, no money. And do not have two tunics. And whatever house you enter, stay there and from there depart. And wherever they do not receive you, when you leave that town, shake off the dust from your feet as a testimony against them. And they depart and went through the villages, preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Today's first reading reminds us to trust in God's word and seek balance in life. Agur's oracle teaches us valuable lessons on faith, humility, and contentment. We need to trust God's word. It is pure, reliable, and shield. We need to avoid distorting truth. Don't add or alter God's message. We need to seek balance in life, pray for daily bread, avoiding property and wealth. God's word is our foundation. Humility keeps us grounded and contentment free us from anxiety. In the Gospel reading, Jesus calls the twelve together, giving them power and authority over demons and to cure diseases. He sends them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal. This mission is not just for the apostles, it's for us too. The three main points stands out today's gospel are empowerment, proclamation, and healing. Jesus gives us authority and power to serve. We are called to share the good news and we are instrument of God's love and care. 
as disciples of Jesus we are empowered to proclaim the kingdom of God to heal the broken hearted and bring hope to the despairing how are we living out this mission are we sharing god's love with others are we using our gifts to serve and heal are we trusting in god's power and authority let us pray lord empower us to proclaim your kingdom give us the courage to share your love and heal the wounded may our lives reflect your goodness amen Pray my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased O Lord to accept the offering of your church for in your mercy you have given them to be offered. and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift, lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it, it is right and just It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father almighty and eternal God For although you have no need of our praise yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift since our praise is add nothing to your greatness but prompt us for salvation through Christ our lord 
And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are holy indeed, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope, Derek our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her most spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the service command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously raised up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. I thank my God each time I think of Him. Yeah,
Hare Hare.